Traditionally, drugs are extracted from plants and microorganisms. The heart drug digitalis originates from foxgloves. The painkiller aspirin originates from willows and penicillin was discovered by Alexander Fleming from the penicillium mould. Most new drugs are synthesised by chemists in the pharmaceutical industry, however the starting point may still be a chemical that's extracted from a plant. To bring a new medical drug to the market, they have to be tested and trialled before being used to check that they're safe and effective. New drugs are extensively tested for toxicity, efficacy and dose. Toxicity tests whether the drug is safe to use. Efficacy tests whether it actually prevents or cures a disease. And dose is how much is required for the drug to actually work. Testing takes place in two main stages. Firstly, preclinical testing is done in a laboratory using cells, tissues and live animals. If a drug passes this, then clinical trials are undertaken using healthy volunteers and patients. Initially, very low doses of the drug are given at the start of the clinical trial to test for toxicity. If the drug is found to be safe, further clinical trials are carried out to find the optimum dose for the drug. In double blind trials, some patients are given a placebo to ensure that it's the action of the drug that's causing the beneficial effect.